a coffee house. It's where men come to play dominoes, or backgammon, chat, or just sit and have a cigarette, or read, and, of course, smoke a shisha pipe. You can stay all day, the staff will work around you. Ahwas are the principal social gathering place throughout the Middle East, and nowhere more than Egypt. They're a place to wind down after a long day's work, a cool retreat from the stifling summer heat. Ahwas are traditionally male only, though lately a few brave women have started to wander in, though always in the company of male chaperones or relatives. They're usually open to the street. In fact, they're often in the street. Or in an open alley. In Cairo, it almost never rains. and they're incredibly cheap. A glass of tea costs as little as 15 cents, and the board games are free. Occasionally, there's a television set, though it's usually ignored in favor of conversation, often politics. Egyptian revolutions are born in coffee houses. and everyone is invited, no matter what their religious affiliation. Ahwas range from upper class, not so popular, to hole-in-the-wall dives with a die-hard clientele. Tea is always by the glass and served on an aluminum tray with the sugar already added. Alcohol is rarely ordered because it is forbidden by Islam. Shisha is a flavored tobacco topped by coals and inhaled through a hookah or water pipe. It can taste like apple, strawberry, peach, mint, coconut, mango, or even cola. One shisha pipe lasts about 40 minutes and delivers the equivalent of around 100 cigarettes. Not surprisingly, it's highly addictive. Kids pick up the habit early. The smoke can smell like honey or even bubble gum. But where are all the women while this is going on? hang out with them next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our human planet.